Hi friends! Brett and I recently took a trip to Chicago and I got inspired to paint some of the scenes from our time there for this vlog. I absolutely love this city and this visit was really special. Brett's job is relocating him to Chicago next month, so we're so excited to be moving there and buying our first home. In our few days there, we toured some condos, ate at our favorite restaurants, and enjoyed the beautiful sights. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen the picture I took of the river that inspired this oil painting. Sadly, the air quality in Chicago was pretty bad the weekend we were there due to the fires in Canada. The air was smoky and created this eerie haze over the skyline. I took a picture during sunset and it immediately reminded me of Monet's paintings of the Houses of Parliament, so I wanted to paint my picture of Chicago in a similar style. Before I start painting, I want to show you my new desk chair from Sihu, the sponsor of this video. It's one of the comfiest chairs I've ever sat in. Their Doro C300 ergonomic office chair was designed with dynamic self-adaptive lumbar and back support. As someone who spends hours a day sitting, editing videos, and painting, this chair has noticeably prevented back strains and fatigue that I usually get because there's no gap between my back and the chair whether I'm sitting upright or reclining. It's perfect for drawing or painting at your desk, working from home, reading, or even playing video games. I love how so many parts of the chair are adjustable, like the arm and neck rests. I feel like I'm able to get a lot more work done since using this chair because I'm not constantly readjusting my sitting position due to discomfort. Click the link in the description now to get an extra 6% off your purchase. I've been doing these painting exercises recently where I force myself to paint more loosely than I typically would. It's been a great way to incorporate those techniques into my own personal style, which I'm always saying I want to be more painterly and a little less realistic. Because I have the tendency to get bogged down in painting too many details right away, I started this painting really loose and messy. I've been loving having the freedom to focus on interesting mark making, and this painting in Monet's style gave me a great opportunity to explore that more.
here are more of these smoky views in Chicago that inspired this painting. You might remember that Brett and I lived in downtown Chicago for a little while a few years ago. We had to leave due to job changes, but we're thrilled to be moving back so soon. While we were there, we celebrated Brett's birthday at one of our favorite restaurants on the river. It was a short trip, but now I'm back home in Georgia and will be spending the rest of this month packing up and saying bye to this little studio that I've grown to love so much. Let me know if you want me to film the moving process for a little moving vlog in the future. I'm so excited to be decorating a new studio again. Another one of my favorite parts about this painting was practicing using a compressed value range. I'm always enamored by paintings like that, but I've had a hard time translating this style into my own work. So it was great to have a reference image that did a lot of the value compression for me. Hopefully I can learn how to replicate that style into my typical figure paintings too. I love how this one turned out, and I can't wait to hang it in our new home. Thanks for all of your kind comments and support. See you next time. Bye.